Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video I'll use example from, from the last time, from the previous video where I was explaining how you could use uh, stack based on uh, Celery, uh, RabbitMQ and Fast API to build scalable and uh, fast machine learning applications. In machine learning often you would have a situation where you would have a, a, like long running task and maybe you would need to execute multiple tasks uh, like that at the same time. So you could achieve this uh, easily with Celery and RabbitMQ because um, with these tools you could run distributed queue and execute these tasks in parallel and get back results asynchronously. So uh, you may wonder, uh, okay, you run this multiple tasks uh, in distributed way, how you could do mo monitoring, how you could understand which tasks are completed, which tasks are still running, and uh, maybe some tasks, uh, tasks were failed, actually. Uh, so you could use for that a tool called uh, Flower, and it comes with a nice and uh, slick uh, UI dashboard. Uh, where you could monitor information about the tasks. So in this video I'll use example from the previous uh, previous time and I'll show you how, how you could use Flower to do tasks monitoring. Okay, let's switch to desktop and um, over here you get um, a GitHub um, repository where from where you could download the source code and URL to this repository is below the video. So let's uh, start first of all fast API uh, server because we need to have an endpoint uh, for where we would um, uh, invoke the application. So let's go to development environment and uh, I start uh, fast API endpoint on port 8000 and uh, endpoint is started. So the next thing is uh, to start salary worker which would uh, manage uh, distributed queue, right? So let's uh, copy a uh, command from the GitHub. This is the command. Let's uh, start the worker. Just one second, it started. Okay, uh, worker is, is started. And now uh, the third thing, let's start the, the flower tool. And you, you, in order to, to, to start the flower, you need to uh, you need to have cost uh, you need it must be installed right so uh, you install it uh, with uh, uh, regular uh, like a regular Python model with pip command and this is how you start the flower it also started through uh, celery okay and we go over here and we start flower. And I think it started. Yeah, it's uh, started. It prints out the logs. It, it connected successfully to RabbitMQ instance and it can monitor all the tasks. Okay, so we have environment ready. And now we would like to start um, API and we would like to push some task. We would like to create a task. So let's, uh, because everything runs on my local environment. So uh, here I have handy uh, shortcut for the URL, right? So. I uh, open it, okay, and have get post and for post operation I could start a new task, for example, and then uh, I would like to open flower UI. Okay, this is the flower tool, uh, it comes just with a table, now there are no tasks, so it's empty, obviously. Right, now let's, uh, let's do something and let's start it maybe... Let's show it like that. So we would start the task and um, we would be able to see uh, information updated in the Flower UI at the same time. Okay, like that looks great. So let's start, let's start the uh, task. We open post operation and let's, see, let's say that we use 20% um, uh, of data for the validation and then we start the task, we execute. We got back the uh, task ID and status processing. Let's refresh um, Celery, we see that uh, this one task, uh, it started, it's running. And let's uh, check back the log. Uh, we see uh, in the Celery, Celery, uh, Celery worker log, we see that task was um, created, data was prepared, and right now we are running training. Uh, for this application, I stop um, training to run in 1000 epochs to just to make sure that it doesn't run too fast. So, so if you run multiple tasks, you, you would be able to see how they run in parallel. In a few seconds, it should be done, and uh, then 
So you should actually, it's already done. So let's uh, switch back to our UI. If we refresh, we see the task was successful. Fine. Now let's do uh, another thing. Let's start uh, two tasks in parallel. So we start task one and then we start task two. Okay. And now if we refresh, we see one, uh, obviously the first task from the last time is succeeded. And right now two other tasks are running. And because we started uh, these tasks uh, in parallel, they run uh, in, on distributed queue on two different workers and uh, they should complete about the same time. Um, since they are not sequential, uh, we would not wait for the second task to start when the first task is uh, complete. Both of them should, start, should, should complete uh, in about the same time. Let's see if this happens. It should. Okay, let's see. Probably they're still running. Let's refresh. Yeah, it's still running. Let's 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 get let's let's get it a few more seconds. Okay, it's the, at least the one of them is completed. We see it from the log. Refresh, and actually both of them are completed because I started them almost at the same time, so they started to run in parallel uh, almost together, so they are completed. Okay, and this is the um, uh, UI also you get uh, here um, a tab called dashboard uh, tasks and broker in the dashboard task, uh, tab you would see uh, that uh, this one worker is running and then in the list of tasks you would see the tasks and uh, you also could navigate to the task and see more detailed information about the task Okay, so this is, was a quick demo for Flower and to show you how you could use Flower to um, uh, monitor tasks, uh, tasks started by uh, Celery and running in distributed queue. So hopefully you find it useful and stay tuned for, for the next time. Thanks and bye.